What's up guys? Today I'm going to be applying for the IG Business Premier Credit Card. I'll be doing so live so that you guys can see if I get approved or denied or if I have to call the reconsideration line. Honestly, that might be a possibility because I did just get approved for a business card not even two months ago. So we'll see what happens. But uh, I'll also be discussing the card itself, not the very specific nitty gritty details of the card as I did already make a, another video on the IG Premier card, which is basically the exact same thing as the business premiere. So if you want to see the details of the card itself, check out that video on the screen. I'll also leave a link down below in the description because um, otherwise today I'm going to be discussing why I'm applying for this card now and why it fits my current circumstances and why I think it's the best card for me at the moment. Then of course, after that, we'll get into the actual application and we'll see if I get approved. If you're excited to see if I get approved for the card, then be sure to leave a like on the video. If you like this type of content, then also subscribe to the channel as I would greatly appreciate it. Otherwise, if you just want to see if I get approved or denied for the card, then feel free to skip ahead. No hard feelings. But first, let's get into why I'm applying for this card now and how it currently fits into my credit card lineup. So as you can tell from my previous IHG video, I do think that this is the most underrated hotel keeper card on the market uh, because it has a $99 annual fee, but it also comes with a 40,000 IHG point anniversary night every single year. So that alone will make up the annual fee because even if you base those points at a 0.5 cent per point valuation, that's still $200. So right off the bat, you're getting that free night that's pretty much worth $200. So it's pretty easy to make up the annual fee. But right now I want to apply for this card, not only for the free night in the future, but I also believe that IHG will become my main hotel loyalty program, kind of behind or mixed in with Hyatt. Hyatt I pretty much just use for award redemptions where I can transfer Chase points over to Hyatt or use my Hyatt credit card, such as the free night with that as well. Uh, but I don't see myself ever staying at a ton of Hyatt's because one, they have a pretty small footprint and two, I don't stay enough to get a high enough status where it's worth staying at Hyatt's for status and benefits and all that fun stuff alone. Whereas with IHG, it is much more doable. So I kind of want to make them my primary hotel loyalty program, the mix of Marriott and then a mix of Hyatt, depending on award redemptions and all that fun stuff. But IHG just has so many properties. They're pretty much up there with Marriott. They have a pretty solid loyalty program. And what's nice is you can purchase points uh, when they're on sale for 0.5 cents per point. Right now they're on sale for 80%, not 100%, but that's still pretty good value. And a really key factor that comes into play with IHG and the other hotel loyalty programs is that IHG seems to be the cheapest hotel program out there. When I've looked at cities and compared Marriott to IHG, because those are the two that I'm kind of debating on, Marriott consistently is more expensive than IHG. Now, in some cases, some of those properties also might be a little better, but at the same time, if you're just staying at the hotel just to stay, shower, maybe eat breakfast, and that's all you really need, you don't need a high-end property. Of course, if you do want to stay at a high-end property, that's where Marriott or even Hyatt would come into play. Uh, but otherwise, if you just need a hotel to stay at, IHG is really the play here. They have so many Holiday Inns and Holiday Inn Expresses around the world. It's actually ridiculous. And those properties are super nice, in my opinion, because... One, they're extremely cheap, especially compared to the other programs, like I mentioned. And two, they are very consistent, especially Holiday Inn Expresses. I say that multiple, and they almost like look identical. And so you kind of know what to expect when you stay at a Holiday Inn Express, which is kind of nice because we've all been in that situation where you book a hotel, you think it looks nice according to the photos, you get there, and you're extremely disappointed. With a Holiday Inn Express, you pretty much know what you're going to get, and it's also pretty cheap compared to the other properties. So that's of course a very big reason is just the amount of properties that IHG has and the affordability with them, which is super nice in my case. But another reason specifically for this card is that right now it does have an elevated offer. That offer is 175,000 IHG points after spending 4,000 in three months and then another 3,000 for the following three months. So you basically have six months as long as you hit 4,000 in three months, if that makes sense. But of course I'm a sucker for some elevated offers and so now is a great time to apply. Typically, it's once every year they'll have this elevated offer. It's a bit different every single year. This one isn't the best we've seen because it does have an elevated amount of money that you have to spend on the card, but still, it's a pretty good offer. Another reason that is card-focused is that this card does give you automatic Platinum Elite status, and what's nice about that is it's pretty much one of the only hotel chains that will give you a very good Elite status just for holding a card that only costs $99 to hold every single year. The only comparable one I would possibly say is Hilton with the Hilton Surpass. 150 bucks, you get Hilton Gold, which is pretty good. 
But same thing here, we get the second highest elite tier status that IHG offers for only $99 every single year. Plus the card pays for itself with the free anniversary night. So platinum status is pretty much free. And in my case, I'm super excited to have a pretty high status with the hotel chain because I don't stay enough at hotel properties to really earn a high enough status where it's worth it, at least organically. So getting this thanks to a credit card is super beneficial to me. And I'm pretty excited to see what platinum status offers with the potential upgrades, the late checkout, the welcome menu that you might get at certain properties. I mean, there's plenty of benefits that come with it. And I've never actually experienced like true status levels with hotels. So I'm pretty excited. That then leads into a, another reason, which is more of a personal situation, but my wife and I are traveling to Asia at the end of this year, and we will be staying at two IHG properties. And one of them is a property I've had my eyes on for a while, I really wanted to stay at. And luckily for me, the other hotels that we're staying at throughout the stay will be covered on points or on like free night certificates thanks to Marriott. And so I've decided to splurge on Regent Hong Kong, which is a property I've been looking at. It's iconic in Hong Kong. The views are incredible. You're along the water. You can see the Hong Kong Island skyline in the background. I mean, the property is freshly renovated. Super excited to stay there. And what's nice is that the Regent property, the Regent brand, is newly acquired again by IHG. It's their luxury property besides Six Senses. And what I like about it is, again, it's so much more affordable. In Hong Kong, a Ritz-Carlton or St. Regis is like more than double the price of the Regent property. So I can stay there even on cash and use the IHG Premier card to earn even more points, 26 times points to be exact. And I'll be staying at a five-star luxury property that almost equates to a Ritz-Carlton, but for half the price. So getting this card now is perfect because right as I get the card, I can then book the property on cash, get 26X points on my IHG Premier card. It'll help with the sign-up bonus. And of course, I'll have that Platinum Elite status. Then the other property we'll be staying at is actually in Bali. We'll be staying at the Holiday Inn Express Resort there in Bali. And so it's only going to be one night and it's not a super luxurious property. But of course, you know, any resort in Bali is probably going to be pretty nice regardless. Uh, but again, it's only one night, but I'm still excited to see what Platinum Elite will offer. It's also like $70 a night. So I'll be getting a ton of benefits and have a nice experience on the beach for only 70 bucks at a nice IHG property. So I'm excited to earn 26X points on those properties and just see what Platinum actually gets me, get that first-hand experience. And so again, it works out perfectly in our favor. And finally, the last big reason I'll be applying for the credit card is that the card actually comes with a fourth night free benefit where basically if you book a stay with points, your fourth night will be completely free. Now, this is better than the Marriott or Hilton options, which is the fifth night free, Fourth night is better, one night less. And I just find that so much more reasonable uh, staying four nights compared to five nights. And then it's nice stacking this again if you purchase points with IHG because if you purchase them when they're on sale at a 0.5 cent per point valuation, you can get some serious value at a property that's either slightly above 0.5 cents per point just any given night. And then also stacking that with the fourth night free, your points will be going very far. So those are all the reasons I'll be applying for the card right now actually. So let's hop into the application. Let's see if we get approved. Alrighty, so we are now on the application for the Chase IHG Business Premier Card. Um, as you can see, I'm already at the bottom because I already pre-filled everything out. If you want more details on how to fill out the application, specifically a business application for a sole proprietorship, uh, go and check out the video I've already made in the description below. Uh, that video I made when I was applying for a Chase Inc. card, so more details about it there. Basically, the highlights are I'm applying as a sole proprietorship. Um, I did actually create an employee identification number for this sole prop now because I've already applied for a business card using this sole proprietorship, specifically just using my SSN, and that was it. So to increase my odds for approval, I decided to create an EIN in hopes that it would help those odds out. So we will see what happens because um, otherwise this is a pretty small business. It's something I actually do where I sell sports merchandise on the side. So it's not a huge revenue earner. Um, I think I put like a couple thousand dollars for how much I earn in the year. So it's pretty small. Um, I do have my normal income. It's combined household income from me and my wife. Otherwise, I think that's about everything. So let's go ahead and hit the submit button and see what happens here. And there it is. The spinning circle of death. If not, let's we'll call the reconsideration line. We'll see what they say. Uh, but let's just hope for an immediate approval. Still working on it. 
kind of taking a long time. Not too happy about that. Oh, there we go. I was approved. And it was a $5,000 credit line. Not too shabby. I believe the minimum is $4,000. Uh, but hey, I'll take it. I will take that. Ooh, the nerves were kicking in there with how long that was taken. But 5000 credit line for the IHE Business Premier. I was approved using my sole proprietorship. Like I said, I have an EIN for this one. And uh, it seems to have worked in my favor. So there you guys have it. I was able to get approved immediately for the IHE Business Premier. Super stoked about it. This should hopefully put me on a short hiatus on applying for new credit cards because the elevated offer is for six months. And I imagine it'll take me probably close to six months, at least like four or five months. So I'll be taking a small break on applying for cards. Luckily, this was a business credit card, so it did not count towards my 524 status. So super happy about that. When it comes to my next card after that, we'll just have to wait and see what the, uh, the card offers are looking like. I mean, if there's an elevated offer on an ink card, I'll probably apply for another one of those. But honestly, I do have multiple inks at this point. So I'm kind of curious what other options are out there. We'll have to see. I will have my new referral link down in the description below. Feel free to use that. Um, otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and call Chase to expedite the card because I want this card sooner than later so I can start spending. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.